Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Children's Time. Um, we hope everybody's having a good Sunday morning. We're a little late getting to uh, record our Children's Time, but here we are. I um, hope you had a good uh, winter break and got to enjoy some of that snow outside. I know we did our best to, to have some fun in it. Um, we're going to be um, focusing this morning on Psalm 13. Um, Matthew's going to read it in a little bit, um, but it it's kind of a, talks about a prayer that sometimes you feel is not being answered by God, and it focuses in on on the frustration that you might feel when you're you're praying for something. Maybe you pray again and again, and you're feeling like God isn't listening to you. In Psalm 13, um, King David prayed a prayer just like we um, often do. Um, I know we pray together at night, um, and we, you know, pray for certain things, whatever they might be, small things, bigger things, but sometimes we maybe pr say that same prayer, but don't feel like it's being listened to. So, um, we're going to focus on that a little bit. Um, I'm going to have Matthew read Psalm 13 now. This is Psalm 13. How long will you forget me, Lord? Forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will I be left to my own wits, agony filling my heart? Daily? How long will my enemy keep defeating me? Look at me. Answer me, my Lord my God. Restore sight to my eyes. Otherwise, I'll sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I won. My, fo my foes will rejoice over my downfall. But I have trusted in your faithful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. Yes, I will sing to the Lord because the Lord has been good to me. What I found was interesting in this psalm, which I really um, didn't know all that well, in the first part of the psalm, um, it says, O oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? So King David was feeling like God wasn't hearing his prayers, wasn't listening to his prayers wasn't responding to his prayers. That's what we learn when we read Psalm 13. God didn't answer David's prayers right away, and he won't always answer our prayers right away. Is there a reason? We don't know, we're not God, but we put our trust in him, and we keep praying and we keep knowing that he will always be there for us in due time. If you keep reading Psalm 13, you learn something. we learn something else. Um, when we add in verses 5 and 6, the psalm changes from uh, focusing on sadness, why aren't you listening to me, God, to focusing on trusting in God. Uh, verses 5 and 6, But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. We learn that just because God is quiet, it doesn't mean he's not there. God wasn't mad at David. And he wasn't trying to ignore him. Maybe he just wanted David to learn how to be patient. Maybe God was trying to teach David how to trust him. How can we know God cares? God proved his love by sending Jesus. Remember this famous verse. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus is God's proof that he is listening, even when it feels like our prayers are not being answered. Because Jesus died for us, we can know that everything is going to be okay. So to sum things up, next time you feel like maybe your prayers aren't being answered and maybe you're getting frustrated, remember this part of Psalm 13. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praises, for he has been good to me. Add that on to the part of your prayer where you're like, why aren't you listening to me, God? Come to a place of hope. Come to a place of knowing that God is there, even in, even in your darkest times. We're going to close with a prayer read to us by Sean. Dear God, sometimes we feel like, like you are far away from us. When we feel that way, we don't always know what to do. Remind us in the, those times that we can always come to you and that you always hear us. We put our trust on you, in you, God. 
Uh, amen. Thank you for joining us for Children's Time this morning. Wishing everybody a wonderful week ahead um, and still hoping to get to see everybody in person soon. Stay healthy and stay safe. Bye, everybody. Bye. Stay safe.